Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Langs. I'm the head football coach at Indiana Wesleyan University. Thanks again to Brian for McKenzie for having me on today to talk about the second dimension of FCA three-dimensional coaching. I'm going to talk today about quickly about our, our leadership development. It is something that we take uh, a lot of pride in. Uh, we try to take it very seriously. We think that part of our responsibility as football coaches here is to prepare the young men and what it means to lead amongst our football team and then what it means to lead the rest of their life. And so we go about it, we, we go about it as almost a curriculum. We, we put it into what we call leadership blueprint. We do the same thing with our culture and, and football and things like that. But I, it's something that we, we, when the kids get into training camp, we're going to talk about, hey, this is what it looks like. Here's, the, here's what we believe leadership is. Here's the behaviors we expect to see from you. And here are the outcomes that we expect to come from you. So we, we use the focus three uh, leadership kind of style and culture building style when we talk about those things. And we really break it down to three different core beliefs, as you can see here. Um, you can see that we're trying to develop accountability within our, our, our football program, but also inspired mirrored response in terms of leadership. And there's three core beliefs that we talk about. First one is demonstrate your mission, as you see here. Do your actions match your mission of not just your personal mission, but do they, does your life match the mission of the football program and does it match the mission of the university? Obviously, we have a very clear mission uh, as a university here at Indiana Wesleyan. Does your life match it or not? If so, the members of the program should trust your authenticity. I'm not going to read it word for word here. But if you demonstrate your mission and the behavior is such, then there should be a, a, a credibility and, and a trust that you earn um, from the people amongst the football program. The second is we want to cultivate meaningful relationships. Uh, we want to take the time to listen deeply to others. We want to get to know other people. And so if we're able to do that as leaders, and then we're able to give life to people's visions and goals, and we want to appeal to a common purpose. Obviously here in our football program, there's a lot of common purposes that we share together on and off the field. But unless we really get to know people that are around us, we're not going to have a chance to influence them to do so. The last one is elevate the needs of others. Uh, so we really try to teach our, our young man and our football staff how do we identify the needs of other people, right? How do we step outside of ourselves and evaluate what somebody needs physically, emotionally, spiritually, academically? How do we, what makes them tick? What, what elicits certain emotions from them? So we're able to read them. Once we're able to figure out what they need, do we try to meet those needs of other people, right? The world a lot of times tells us that we should just take care of ourselves and nobody else. And here we're trying to tell people, if you want to be leaders, right, if you want to influence other people, you got to get to know them, identify their needs, and then elevate your needs over their own. Um, if people know if people know how much you care about them and, they're, and you're able to elevate their needs, there's a very good chance you're going to get to influence them positively. So those are the three things we want to do in our leadership. We want to demonstrate our mission. We want to cultivate meaningful relationships, and we want to elevate people's needs above our own. Thanks.